I'm Becky. And I'm Kayla. And we're here to tell you about our newest favorite book, Midnight at the Blackbird Cafe. The book is by Heather Weber, and it's about a young girl named Anna Kate who inherits her grandmother's cafe, the Blackbird Cafe in Alabama, and she heads back to town only to find out that she has more family than she thought. There's a lot of twists and turns, and really altogether the story is about forgiveness. You are introduced very quickly to another main character named Natalie who has just suffered the loss of her husband and has a two-year-old daughter that she's trying to take care of. And these two characters are brought together even though their lives are very, very different, and they're very different places in their lives. Um, there's just so many lessons from this book it's beautiful I cried multiple times I cried I laughed it was I do have to say there's a part in the book I think it's page 190 that I really relate to because it talks about the mother losing her child and even though her child was grown he was going off to college my child was six years old when she died of leukemia so I could really relate to that particular character and even though I didn't like her very much, I could understand her grief. And right. so that really spoke to me. And that character was, was Celie, Natalie's mm -hmm. mom. Yeah. And she, like, you're right, she started out, I didn't like her. At all. But by the end, my favorite thing about her, and spoiler alert, she, she not only finds a way to forgive other people, but to forgive herself right. for kind of how she acted and treated people mm -hmm. right after she experienced a huge tragedy in her life. Right. And, that's... and she didn't relate well to her younger daughter. Um, they have had a different relationship because, you know, trying relationship because of her mother's grief and the way she dealt with it. Well, I had another child, your husband. Yes. And so we, you know, but I knew I had to be there for him. So even though I reacted differently than she did, as far as the other sibling, I could still understand that grief. And like I said, it's, it's just a very poignant story. And there's also that hint of magic there that we all want to believe in something. You know, we want to believe there's some magic in the world that, you know, with all of the craziness in our world today, you know, the pandemic and all this other stuff going on, we we want something to escape to, to believe in, to kind of just, you know, be light, be have some hope, have have some fun. And that that was definitely one of my favorite parts. And I think something that surprised me, I didn't notice at first that the genre was magical realism. No, but I, it I is. Didn't either. Mm -mm. And it just it adds that much more goodness to it. Like, yeah. It really does. So Bottom line is, if you have not read this book, then you're in for a huge treat. You definitely need to read it. And I know that we have her second book that just came uh, south of the buttonhole. Um, the Buttonwood Tree. The Buttonwood Tree. Actually, it's right and here. I'm excited to read it. So that will be on our blog. So as you can see, my it's little gold started. feather, I've already started. <laughs> and it's very exceptional, too. So five stars for that one. Definitely five Thank stars you. plus. <laughs>